Hi everyone. Today I decided that I'm going to do a book review. I recently bought a book um, and I absolutely love it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, it was written by one of my favorite urban sketchers. Her name is Liz Steele. She lives in Australia and this is her book, Five Minute Sketching Architecture, Super Quick Techniques for Amazing Drawings. <clears throat> she is Excuse me. She is an architect and um, got into the urban sketching movement when it started. Um, this book was released, I think, late in September on pre-orders, so some of you may have it. I just bought it now when I had heard about it from her. Um, but this book, I feel, is written very well. Now, some people have reviewed it poorly, but I really think it actually got um, four and a half stars on Amazon, and I bought mine through Prime, so it was nineteen ninety five. Um, but there are places you can get it cheaper. Uh, it just takes you a little longer to get it. Eleven forty five plus four dollars shipping, so fifteen forty five, fifteen fifty, um, and you can get it by January tenth at the latest if you don't want to use Prime. But anyway, um, there are some people selling them used for that same price as well. But um, let me show you this book. I think it is so well written. Like I said, she is an architect, and she, her lines are amazing. And you can see here how quickly she must have jotted these lines down. They're not done perfectly, but when you look at it, the detail looks amazing. And some of it actually looks kind of like kind of like scribbles, you know what I mean? And it just amazes me how how good her sketches are. I just love her work. But anyway, um it is copyrighted 2016, as I said, and it's uh split into different sections. The first chapter is all about how to see. The second chapter is uh, all on drawing, quick on the draw. Chapter three is all about time-saving techniques. And chapter four is about speedy supplies. Um, she gives some of her, her history here growing up and how she loved to draw. She was designing houses as young as 10 years old. Um... So it says in Chapter 1, she looks at the essential skills you need to sketch quickly. And then on Chapter 2, you're going to apply the skills to different building types, focusing on telling a story about each. Then in Chapter 3, you explore the different ways of quickly using line and color. And Chapter 4 explores how to use different tools to their best advantage for fa fast sketching and how to decide which ones suit your best approach. Um, and also... I wanted to share something about urban sketching. Um, I talked to her about that because I had received different information from different people. But the way she described urban sketching was very good. Um, I'm going to find her comment and I'll read it to you. Okay, her response to me when I asked her about exactly what urban sketching is because I get somewhat confused on whether landscapes are considered urban sketchings or what, you know. So her response is, Hi Sharon, the goal of urban sketchers is to record stories out on location. My personal take on it is by urban, she quote, quotes that urban, I read human. So people living in rural areas can focus on the way they live rather than pure landscape paintings. As for sketchers, sketches at home, the emphasis, once again, is telling stories about where you are, scene of your living room, desk, etc., rather than composed still lifes. Does this make any sense? And um, I thought it made great sense. Um, being a plein air painter prior to urban sketching, it, it was a little confusing to me. So that makes a lot more sense now. So they go. she goes through that in her book, and that's why I wanted to mention it about telling stories and how to tell your story and composing your story on a piece of paper. 
Um, so in the beginning, she goes into key architectural architectural elements, which get pretty um, detailed, like call outs and classical orders and balustrades and arches and modern architecture versus Gothic and all this stuff so, and buttresses and everything. But don't let that freak you out because it's actually very interesting. And it's just these two pages, you know. And then she starts her book, How to See, um, how to t find your story and how to tell your story. And everything is written with these tips, one, two, three, four, five, each page, beginning composition, one, two, three, four, five. And then she has pictures to go along with it and little tidbits. Not all of the photos um, of the sketches are hers. Some of them are other people in the urban sketching well, uh, world. So, and then here, it's seeing simple shapes, and again, the tips. So, they're very short, concise, um, and they're to the point. And I really enjoy that, because I don't have a lot of time to just sit down and read a book. I read, I listen to audiobooks while I'm painting, um, so that I can read, but um, I'd rather just have a brush in my hand rather than read a book so but I do read this in the evenings when I'm done painting so um and when I'm responding to your comments on YouTube and all of that but anyway I thought that you would like to see this book um every every chapter whoops was I off frame I guess not Every chapter is very interesting. And then she does go into simple one-point perspective and no-line perspective. Um, she's not big on perspective. She feels that if you get your lines right and your measurements right, then perspective will fall into place. And she's got a point there. But I do think understanding perspective is a good thing. And it's really not that hard. I did a, I did a video on one-point perspective once. It was very basic and simple. Um, and then this is pointless perspective. And then she goes into foreshortening. You remember when I was showing you my sketchbook and um, I had that truck that looked like it got hit <laughs> is because it was foreshortened and I didn't turn it in the right direction or any of that. So it really screwed it up. And then she talks about playing with distortion, bending buildings. I love that look. There's, there's another artist I follow online. Um, she's Italian, and she is amazing. But anyway, this whole book is written. Every, every page has the tips to get you started. So there's not, like, tons that you have to read on each thing. How to, make, how to uh, draw religious buildings. You know, they always have those domes and towers and steeples and things, especially the cathedrals um, that are so beautiful that you'd like to draw them. They can get overwhelming. I, I admit it. I get overwhelmed by it. I've really just been getting into buildings over the last year, so I've got a long way to go. But um, she talks about skylines and sketching famous landmarks. Look at how she did her her um, Eiffel Tower. It starts sideways and then bends up this this way. I think that is so cool. So she could fit it all in. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you real quick so that you could see how um, how the book is written. I think it's just a, a terrific book. It's a soft cover book um, or semi soft. It's a little harder than. A uh, regular soft cover book, I think. Her bridges are beautiful. I love this one. This angle is just amazing. Um, then she talks about interior. Time-saving techniques. Minimal lines. Trying thick lines. Rapid restated lines. Exploratory contour drawing. I want to get more into that. Um, whoops, sounds like my son is home from work. But anyway, that's it for the book, so I I can't recommend it enough. I think it's a book that you would like if there's something that you want to add to your Christmas list. Get this book for under $20. If somebody wants to find a book, um, a gift for you, you might want to tell them to get this for you. It's just, it's great. And if you go through Amazon Prime in the U.S., you'll have it in two days. So anyway, 
Everybody have a great day, and I'm just about done painting all of my paintings. I've been working on these hard to try to get them all finished so my family and friends will all have paintings. Some of them I do doubles of, but um, yeah, I've uh, been working really hard. <laughs> That's just a few of them. I've got all these here, too. I mean, there's so many. You saw these. But um, all my snowmen ones. There's another one of the gate, another snowman. thought I'd give those to the ones with kids. So anyway, I've been busy. I still have four more to go before Thursday. <laughs> and I have a commission to finish before Saturday. So my commission is another giraffe painting. Actually, it's a mother and baby giraffe. I don't know if you guys want me to paint it on video or not. Since I've already done one giraffe, you may not want to see another one. If you do, just let me know, and when I paint it, I will, I will record it. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.